Today, we're taking a trip to Peru, but you won't need your passport for this one. Known as Circus Town around the area, Peru was, in fact, the circus capital of the world. Not one, not two, not three, but seven circuses waited out Indiana winters right here in Peru. They may be known far and wide for their fantastic amateur circus, but Peru is more fun than a barrel of monkeys in more ways than one. Your first stop should always be the County Museum. Here in Peru, it's easy to find. Located right downtown, the Miami County Museum contains two floors of artifacts and local history and makes the perfect introduction to this history-filled town. Put some quarters in the vintage orchestrion, admire or cringe at the stuffed two-headed calf, check out Cole Porter memorabilia, the circus everything, there's a lot to see. Enjoy one of the top 10 dress shops in Indiana if you step inside Lillian's Bridal and Prom Boutique, is this lovely or what? There's also a 20-year-old music shop nearby, the Peru Music Center. Pianos, guitars, drums, it's absolutely amazing to see this kind of an assortment in a small town. I love it. I can't actually play any of it, but it sure is fun to see. If you are looking for breakfast or lunch, Café du Cirque is a cozy and warm establishment. Just off the downtown, this mom and pop strives to use locally grown produce and ingredients. They make the most gorgeous salads, fantastic panini, and offer only organic, fair trade, shade grown coffee. The free Wi-Fi at Café du Cirque makes it easy to linger. When the dinner hour approaches, look for the train cars. The siding takes its name from an old railroad term. And here at this unusual restaurant, you will find two dining railroad cars. Although not always available to sit inside, the weekend prime rib evening buffet with lovely and delicious homemade desserts certainly makes this unique. Heading away from town lies McClure's Orchard and Winery. A family-run farm, make it a point to try the hard cider. They've got flavors that range from jalapeno, which isn't too bad actually, to my personal favorite, bonbon. They also produce their own wine, have an on-site cafe with homemade apple dumplings, and a petting zoo complete with horse rides, season permitting. Peru may have a claim to fame from the bustling activity of the many wintering circuses, but today it holds its own as a worthwhile getaway. Forget the same old, same old. Explore your own backyard and unusual Indiana towns like Peru.